scorer in the Champions League. Can he add to his total tonight? We'll find out soon as we're just minutes away from kickoff. It's live. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. Really looking forward to this one, Lee. Yeah, it's important. You're consistent throughout these group stages. You can't afford any slip-ups, no drop points. As before you know it, you're out the running. Anticipating a really good game today, Derek. Hopefully we're not disappointed. This attack looks highly promising. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? I don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead. Samu Castillejo. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Ibrahimovic. High echelon goalkeeping there. Shot attempted and able to get a body in the way. Well, it has come to nothing. And players waiting in the centre. Gives it a go. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Played into the centre of the box. Just too much loft. Well, as we run the rule over the table in this group, it's all very tight and so much to play for. Well, it's absolutely perfect scenario for the neutral, that is. I'm sure all teams involved would prefer a little bit of lead in this group, but jeopardy, that's what we want in the Champions League. My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Over it comes, and he clears the danger. And news of a goal in the Mainz game, Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Mainz, 70 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure. Moving it forward. He has time to play it over. Interception to snuff out the danger. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And a chance for him on the flank. The cross is on, and there the attack ends for now. Diomande. That's a lovely ball. Good movement. And an astute piece of defending. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Well, he's done really well with his angles there. Good reactions, too. It is to be a throw-in. But he keeps going. To jump in front. Oh, that's an awful finish, and the goalkeeper could do nothing but hang on to it. Easy save for the keeper. Absolutely terrible finishing from the attacker. 
Well, it was a horrific mistake, but the goalkeeper has made amends. Well, he's a happy boy now. Just look at the smile on his face. Two minutes ago, he wasn't so happy. Milan certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession here, but the rest needs work. It's too slow moving the ball. There's no imagination. Need a lot more from them. I believe there's been a goal in the Mainz game. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 36 minutes played. 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. They just cannot seem to keep possession today. And room to roam on the wing for Milan. Crossing opportunity. That is that for the first half here. Well, I think it's fair to say that he's had happier days in front of goal, Lee. Well, Derek, he might as well be sat up here with me and you. Little impact on the game so far. Not worked hard enough. Needs to do better. He needs to shift the defenders around more. Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Aminu Umar. Oh, big chance! Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Wow, Derek, just listen to that noise. The crowd realise they won't get too many chances like this. And over comes the corner. Applying vigorous pressure. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. Kea. Kessier. Kessier. And he's through here. Oh, good save. A concession of a corner here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Played into the centre of the box. And still dangerous. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think. And the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. Well, here's the replay, and it's a gem of a penalty. So difficult for the keeper to get down low. And it's right in the corner, too. Great stuff. Underway again with Milan in charge. And news of a goal at the Opel Arena. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a second goal for Mainz. 56 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Not an especially strong challenge. Couldn't grab hold of it. Just can't seem to get out of their own half and that's down to the pressure. 
Chalanolu. Castillejo. And here's Chalanolu. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Fernando Boldrin. Now, let's see what they can do here. He takes aim. It wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. I believe there's been a goal in the Mainz game. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Mainz. 67 minutes played. 3-1. Cheers again, Alan. Ismael Diomande. Well, Derek, just listen to that noise. Doing everything they can to try and help the players out. Can they get this equaliser? Wasteful from Milan. Milan Skoda. And he's made headway. Takes it on. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. And he's fired over the corner. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Try to lob the keeper. Simple for the keeper, dealing with that long-range effort. Castillejo. Oh, he's through here. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And they're making a change. Over it comes. Able to deal with the threat. Benassa. Kessier. And a goal! That's his brace! They just can't keep him quiet! Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. And to be honest with you, he's not going to get an easier goal than that. A simple tapping. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, they know they need to stop him. And he's through here. Tries to lift it. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And then to have the ball to try and chip the goalkeeper deserves a goal in itself. It's simply wonderful. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And only two minutes remaining here. And they are on the move again. Can they convert? Keeper did his job to begin with. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick.
A clear penalty and a yellow card to boot. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. So the corner played into the box. It is a decent looking attack here and able to get a body in the way. Played into the box. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. The story is over. The referee has decided. And this group stage match ends in a win for Milan. Well, when you're assessing the game afterwards, there's little boxes to be ticked. And they tick nearly all of them tonight. The defence, the goalkeeper, the midfield, the forwards look sharp. Really, really easy victory for them tonight. Clinical in front of goal. The manager, the coaches, the players and the fans are all happy tonight. Ibrahimovic.